And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday. It's the 24th of August, 2021. It was on this day in the year 410, Rome was sacked by the Visigoths, bringing an end to the Roman Empire, which at its height had stretched from Britain and the Atlantic to North Africa and Mesopotamia. The Visigoths came down from what is now Germany, led by their chieftain Alaric, who was in his mid-thirties. They were incensed at the higher and higher taxes the Romans had exacted on the people in their outer provinces. So they started moving toward Rome. Alaric also wanted some position of respect within the empire. He had laid siege to the city of Rome. The Roman Senate paid him off. But when his demands were repeatedly rebuffed, he came back, waged an all-out attack, and Roman slaves rebelled. Many of them had been captured from Germanic tribes, and they opened the gates to Alaric in the middle of the night. And the Visigoths came in and burned and looted and raped and pillaged, though they did treat Christian sites and relics with some respect. It was on this day in 1456, the first edition of the Gutenberg Bible was bound and completed in Mainz, Germany, first complete book printed with movable type. Today is the birthday of the Argentinian poet and short story writer Jorge Luis Borges, born in Buenos Aires in 1899, who, with his book of short stories, A Universal History of Infamy in 1935, gave us what we now call magical realism. It's the birthday of the writer Oscar Hiuelos, New York City, 1951, son of immigrants from Cuba, known for his stories of Cuban-American life, including his book The Mambo Kings Play Songs of Love. It's the baptismal day of the poet Robert Herrick, born in London, 1591, who gave us the lines, Gather ye rosebuds while ye may, old time is still a-flying, and this same flower that smiles today, tomorrow will be dying, in his poem, To the Virgins to Make Much of Time. He lived out in the country for many years, wrote most of his poetry out there, never married, and most of the women in his poem poems were probably imaginary. Here's a poem for today by William Wordsworth. She was a phantom of delight. She was a phantom of delight when first she gleamed upon my sight, a lovely apparition sent to be a moment's ornament, her eyes as stars of twilight fair, like twilights too, her dusky hair, but all things else about her drawn from Maytime and the cheerful dawn, a dancing shape, an image gay to haunt, to startle, and waylay. I saw her upon nearer view, a spirit, yet a woman too, her household motions light and free, and steps of virgin liberty, a countenance in which did meet sweet records, promises as sweet." A creature not too bright or good for human nature's daily food, for transient sorrows, simple wiles, praise, blame, love, kisses, tears, and smiles. And now I see, with eye serene, the very pulse of the machine, a being, breathing, thoughtful breath, a traveler between life and death, the reason firm, the temperate will, endurance, foresight, strength, and skill, a perfect woman, nobly planned to warm, to comfort, and command, and yet a spirit still and bright with something of angelic light. Wrote William Wordsworth. That's the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday, August the 24th. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.